Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how to model this amazing looking parametric walkway in Revit. So this is an interesting twisted looking structure that has a triangular grid and it's quite easy to model so I will show you that in today's video. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these almost every day. Ok, so let's get started. We need to start this as a conceptual mass. So here I'm going to go into families and new conceptual mass. I'm just going to go back a couple of folders so I can go into metric, metric conceptual mass, there you go. And if you're using imperial just go ahead and use imperial. Ok, so first I'm going to set the units, so I'm just going to type in un to set the units to meters, that's ok, ok. Once that's done, I need to set the height of this structure. So this will actually need another reference plane or another level, so I'm just going to go into South Elevation. So we'll just create a level here, so I'm going to go to the Create tab, go Level, or you can use the shortcut, and you just place it over here, and then you select it, and you place the elevation, and I'm going to set it at number 2, or basically at 2 meters, and for the level I'll just name it Spiral. OK. Now once I've done that, I can go to this spiral level and I can start modeling. Now I will be modeling this as a spline with some profiles. So here I'm just going to go here to spline through points and I'm going to set the reference plane at spiral. And now let's model this plane. Now I'm not going to go too crazy, I'm going to go something like this. Once that's completed, then I need to go into 3D. And now we can use all of these reference points to place our profile. And for profile I'm just going to use model elements and I'm going to go here to cir circumscribed polygon, choose that one and for the sides choose three sides and then you need to set the reference plane. So I'm going to set the reference plane at this point over here and then make sure that this is at draw on work plane and then you select the midpoint and I'm going to just pull out by 2 meters. As you can remember the level is at 2 meters so I'm going to pull out to the same amount. Ok, and I pulled this to the right. Now I'm going to go to the second point, I'm going to set the reference plane here and for this one I'm not going to pull right, I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to model like that, I'm going to go reference point by reference point and I'm going to be changing the angle by 90 degrees. Ok, now once that's completed you need to select everything, so I'm just going to select this triangle, this spline, all of the other triangles, and then you go create form. Now we need to select the sides, so we can add the grid to them, so I'm going to select this side over here, let's select this side here, and this one as well. Ok, once we've done that we go to divide surface and then the surface will be divided in some pattern but we need to go here and we need to find triangular pattern and they use triangular bend. Now this looks quite weird I admit but you need to change some elements so here for this U grid I'm going to change this to 60 so from 10 to 60 let's see how that looks like. OK, we can make it a bit bigger, so let's go, or smaller, so let's go to 70. Yeah, that looks about fine. So now we need to create basically a element that goes in here. And to do so, we need to create a new family, so go new, family, and here I'm just going to go back to go to metric, and I need to find this metric curtain panel pattern based, so that will go into our pattern. So now this is a rectangular pattern, that's not what we want, so we need to select this pattern over here and change it from rectangular to triangle bent. Now once you've done that, you have this triangle over here and then you need to just place a reference point on it somewhere. Now once you've done that, you can model something on this, you can basically model the profile. So I'm just going to set the work plane to this. Okay, that doesn't look right. Let's play, place this point again. So I'm just going to go here to reference 
point, draw on plane, and find the middle one. Okay, now it looks better, so I'm just going to go here to set. Yeah, now you can see it's perpendicular to this line. Okay, and let's create a circular profile, why not? So I'm just going to go something like this. And for the size, let's do it at well, let's, let's do it at 80 millimeters. That looks fine. So I'm just going to select this thing and the circle and create form. And there you go. Now we have our family. So just go load into project. Now we need to go into 3D, select our patterns, select all three of them. Okay, and now here, instead of this triangle, we have this family too. Now this will take a moment. And as you can see, our parametric walkway structure is completed. But now let's add basically a strip over here that will be the actual walkway or the actual concrete slab. And to do so, we need to go into projects. So I'm just going to go new project. And this will be an architectural template project. Okay, now let's add our family in here. So let's go here to 3D view. No, this is the wrong one. We need this one. Yeah, so now go just load into project and choose project one. Now once this is loaded in your project, you can see it in 3D. It looks like this. But now we need to add the concrete. So I'm just going to go here to level one. And I'm going to open up this view range dialog. Just type in VR. And for this cut plane, I'm going to place it at 10 or basically one centimeter and hit OK. And now you can see it's cutting our strip over here. And the reason why I did that is so I can basically model our, our strip and we can see where it's actually in contact with the ground. So now I'm just going to go here to floor and I'm going to basically create the end first and then I'm going to model the rest as a spline. And now if you want to see how it looks like when you're inside while you're at level one, you just need to create a camera, place it like so. And now when it opens up, it looks like this. You can see here we have our walkway, maybe make it a bit larger. And now if you want to move through this space, you can use this wheel over here. So you just go walk and there you go. So that's how you model this crazy looking parametric spiral in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future tutorials, I suggest you leave them in the comment section below. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day.